What is up, guys? Your Doomsday here, and today we are back again. In this match, we're going to be going some bot lane weapon power glaive. So, a bunch of people were in the last video, they're commenting that they wanted weapon power heroes and bruisers and melee stuff like that. So, I thought I'd give glaive a shot, especially after the video where I went to Storm Kind Aftershock build. And I did so much burst damage, I was like, I gotta give weapon power glaive a shot. So, we'll see how this goes. Mm, so it's a Grumshaw. Is he gonna contest this? Can't tell. I think he's on the weapon power buff, actually. I'm gonna get a cam on there. Oh, there's two of them there. Never mind, I can't even get this then. Yeah, they're gonna contest. So the only thing that kind of sucks about this laning phase is Grumshaw has the advantage like the entire early game. I'm not gonna be able to trade with them by myself until I get at least Serpent's Mask Breaking Point. Because he can easily out-trade me. He's already level 2, so there's no way I'm going to be able to do anything right now. I just have to try and get these last hits if I can. Especially when he uses B ability too, because that gives him so much extra damage and attack speed. If Grumshaw ever uses that, you definitely do not want to go for a trade. I see Flickers here. Let's see if I can get some damage onto him. At least I forced him off. I should be able to farm up now. Yeah, this fucker's gotta chill. Okay, we forced the flash. That's good. Is he gonna recall? Can't tell. Nah, he's not gonna recall. But I pretty much just have to be really patient right now. Because if I go and keep on trying to trade with this Grum shot, I'm gonna lose my lane. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh, I missed that. Oh, wait, there's three. Never mind. I didn't even see Adagio. Mm. Push this in. I can't go up for that. I think we can actually fight this. Because Grumchar already used Flask. Can maybe go for this. I'm actually going to the Inara. Yeah. The reason I went into the Inara was because I knew the Grumchar would just use his A ability out. So there's no point in even trying to get onto him. Yeah, never mind. Grumshaw's back to full health already. Like, jeez. Yeah, we can't win this. At least we were able to make him back off a bit. He's gonna be getting his flask up. In like, less than a minute. Again. No, I'll clear that in a sec. I just want this big minion. Okay. Be looking for a recall now. There's not much I could really do with him at his turret. But yeah, for Glaive, there's two main builds. There's the Serpent's Mass Breaking Point Bonesaw build, and then there's the Bonesaw like triple monocle or double monocle build i think it's two monocles yeah so those are two builds the reason why i'm going for the serpent's mess build is because they have a grumchar rhyme super tanky melees so i'm gonna be looking to build up breaking point stacks off of them and in the late game i could regen a lot off of them now if their team was more squishies like carries i definitely go for the bone saw build and crit and in my opinion that build's probably more fun the crit on glaive is really satisfying i like it but in this case, I'm pretty sure Breaking Point would be better. We got... We can only trade with this guy because he's standing in the middle of my minion wave. At least I made him pop Flask. Actually, that probably wasn't even smart. I probably shouldn't have even gone for that. I see my flickers down here. Yeah, he's gonna dip. Actually, what I could do against a Grumtra is I can stun him out of his A. If I go quick enough with my own A ability and I use my Afterburn, the second he starts his A ability, I can stun him out. About to be really, really fast on him. 
<laughs> it's weird because normally the matchup is the other way around. Normally I'm the Gromshot and I'm going against the Glaive. So it's been reversed this time. He's out of energy, actually. So he doesn't really have much for his abilities. Oh, somebody else is here. I'm a dip. No, that's not my recall. Let's see what's going on mid. Ooh, that's a nice hole. Rhyme mid, that's kind of interesting. I've actually seen some really, really good rhyme mid lanes. Like, rhyme mid is surprisingly super strong. But you have to be able to play it right. It's like a really specific play style. It's a bit different too. So, Grumshot is level 6 now, so you have to be careful of his eat. Definitely gotta pay attention with that. With Glaive, it's nice because you have so much mobility and escape. Like, if he eats me, I could always just afterburn and boots out. So, I just need to have a plan in case he does eat me at any time. Like, if he just runs up and eats me, I'll just afterburn out and not even be worried. He's probably getting his healer right now. I have enough for my surface mask, so that'll be nice. I'm actually going to go for some armor. Because this Grumpshaw is going to be a pain to deal with. Like, if he eats me right now, I'll still be fine. Oh, he went Poison Shift first. That kind of... That's kind of bad, actually, because... Or bad for me, like, at the early game. Because he can easily still trade with me now. If he would have gone Pulse Wave first, then... I might be able to start trading with him about now, but... Since he went Shiv, he has the extra attack speed, extra damage, and the mortal wounds. Okay, next time I'm gonna try and timer right. If he if he steps up again, I'll try and stun him out of his A. Yeah, I don't think we don't win this. Okay. I was standing in front of Flicker there in case Grumchow used his ult. That way he would have ate me instead of Flicker. Because I can escape, but I don't think Flicker had anything to get out with. No, the reason why I went for the afterburn there was because I don't even know Nara was there. I was trying to afterburn him to, like, to push him back so maybe he missed an extra minion or two to the turret. That was really my goal there. I wouldn't know what name to kill him. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, nice. I think I did it. I stunned him out of his A. Okay, so that at least forced his boots, so that's good. If I could do that again, that'd be nice. But the timing is just super hard to get right. Yeah, I don't think we can... Oh, yeah, this guy's here too. Oh, fucking got it. Wait, actually, I can kill this guy. Oh, gosh, Flicker's dead. Where is he? Can I save him? Oh my gosh, that's Celestial. Yo, that was such a good Celestial. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know Celestial ulted there. That just destroyed that <laughs> Grumchaw. If I would have known that would have nailed him right in the face, I would have definitely gone for that. I probably saved the Flicker too. Okay, I could start working towards my breaking point. Yeah, I'm still not going to be looking to go for any, like, all-out trades with this Grumshaw. He could probably still 1v1 me. Especially at this stage, this is about when Grumshaw's strongest. Yeah, notice how whenever he uses his B ability, I'm going to back off. Oh, our Flicker's so dead. There's a Grime here, too. Yeah, I can't save him. I 
Wait, their Anara is so fed. Dang, he's already a thousand gold ahead of all of us, at least. It's fine though, even though we're a little bit behind right now, our comp is actually way better late game in team fights. But they have a really big mid game advantage. But like late game, Warhawk, Rhyme, Grumcha, and Art, all of them fall off. So as long as we can survive and get farmed up, should be good. Yeah, I'm not going to challenge that. Oh, uh, Mr. Big Minion? Nice, okay. So again there, I just afterburned to make him miss that Captain Minion. I didn't want him to get that. Ooh, let's see if I can rotate to mid. I have my boots up, so... Actually, Adarsu is probably recalling. Never mind. Wait, Adarsu didn't recall. Let's see if I can get him. Oh my gosh, I just screwed that up. <laughs> That's kind of bad. Am I going to lose my buffer? No, I'm not. Okay, I can go and get a heavy steal now. I'll give me some nice damage. Now, once I get my breaking point, that's when I'll start trying to trade with the scrum show. Ooh, damn. He's right over there. <laughs> Chill. Oh, all of them are. There's an aura here, too. Dang, we don't have enough damage to kill him. Yeah, that was a really good rotation by all of them. All of them, like, came to mid for that. Except for Warhawk, I think. But yeah, that Anara is super far ahead of us. Weapon Power Anara is really strong, actually. Especially if you get ahead, like, you have so much burst damage. People really underestimate the damage that Weapon Power Anara can do. In fact, when Anara first came out, a lot of people were playing Weapon Power Anara ball in. That was actually a kind of a thing that didn't really last. It's an alright bot laner, but it's not like amazing or anything. But like if you're <laughs> almost 2,000 gold ahead of our top player, then it's pretty broken. Especially with the ult, because you can't even escape. Let's see. Oh, an is here. Yeah, let's not fight this. If Anara leaves, then we can maybe fight it. Mm. I'm not gonna afterburn him. Anara is still here, probably. Okay, she's not in that bush, at least. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. It's not worth it. Because if I use my A ability like that, and then Anara pops up, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, exactly like this. Am I dead? Any okay, got out at least. <laughs> Barely got out. Oh, I'm gonna lose this turret. There's three of them here. There's no way I'm defending this against... Grumchaw, Fedenor, and Rhyme. Yeah, see, if I would use my A ability on Grumchaw there, I would have been dead for sure. And that's why. I, that's why I placed that camus out that bush because I thought maybe Nora was sitting in there. Mm, this guy's actually split. His team left him. We can get him as long as he doesn't afterburn over the wall. Oh, he just wasted his afterburn, or not his afterburn, his A ability. Nice. That was a really good bounty too. What I meant was, I thought he was going to try and use his A ability to get over this Black Claw Pit. So that's what I wanted to be careful of. But, he did not use it that way. He definitely should have. If he did, if he did that, he would have had a way better chance of surviving. But now that I got a kill onto him, once you give up a kill to a Glaive as a Grumchaw, you've pretty much lost your lane. Like, I have a nice lead now. I have good items. I can get this turret too. So I'll be even more gold. I'm gonna just focus the turret. I don't want Grumchaw to come back and be able to save it. So like now I'm looking to fight much more. Give myself my block. 
can infuse too. Oh wait, there's a nausea right here. Whoa, I didn't even see him walking here. Oh dang. <laughs> I was trying to press my boots there, but I accidentally pressed my infuse. I forgot I had the infuse there. I can win this. I have my breaking point. It doesn't even matter that he ate me. Ooh, that was a good stun. Oh, this Nara's too fast. But yeah, because normally I have my boots as my, like, bottom item. So it's just, like, sort of, like, instant. Like, ooh, I could stun this guy out of his ult. He's so dead. So, like, <laughs> when I wanted to use boots, I pressed my bottom thing and I accidentally pressed the infuse. So I was like, where's my boots? And then I realized that <laughs> I had my infuse there. Okay, I got myself energy. Now I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to just finish up my bone, so I'm not going to go for the armor yet. Unless I need it later, I'm not going to finish it up. I'd much rather get my bones. Oh, let's see, take my entire wave. Rip. That's fine. I got a lot of my core items, so that's good. Like, notice how when that fight, how when the fight started, I started to stack off Grumchaw. Which really, really helped me out. Because at this stage of the game now, like, Grumshaw cannot 1v1 me at all. Okay, I can win this. He just wasted his ults again. I can afterburn out. Oh, wait, I think I got him killed. <laughs> Whoops. I kind of trolled that. I didn't mean to press on him. I just wanted to afterburn out. Oh, gosh, this guy's got an ult. He's gonna try and go to his turret. Let's see if I can cut him off. I should be able to. Oh wait, there's a Grumshaw here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go into the Grumshaw. Oh, can I save this guy? Nice, I was able to save him. That was good. So like that's why I went for the breaking point build because you could build up stacks so easily on a Grumshaw and a rhyme. Cause there's no way I'm just gonna like burst delete him with a crit build right away. And notice how much I sustain too, like I regen so much off of him because of my serpent's mask and my perk. Or perk my ult, I don't even know which one it is, but something makes me regen a lot. Let's see if I can get this. Nice. Okay. Somebody got the shutdown on... the Inara too, which is good. And get this weapon power buff. So yeah, sometimes in land phase, you kind of just gotta take it slow and wait for your power spikes, instead of forcing it, especially against early game heroes. Because if I would have gone in for a trade early, lost it, died to Grumshaw, he would be so far ahead of me. It would make it so much easier for him. And I don't know why they're fighting without me, but... I'm gonna just push bot lane, because by the time I get there, the fight's probably gonna be over. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> I do not recommend fighting without your bot laner. Probably not a good idea, but... I can shop for my bone saw now, so that's good. Just get that. I don't have enough for my infuse, but that's alright. Let's see if I can get this turret here. They're still out there fighting. Mm. In this video, I want you all to comment down below your favorite movie that you have seen. And they're still dying. At least I got this turret. Okay. They aren't even rotating to me yet. <laughs> okay, here they come. I'm gonna just dip now. Oh, wait. Okay, the Inara didn't... Oh, dang, the Inara was about to go and check that bush. I barely got out of that. Even if he did stop me, I could have escaped. I had boots block. Could just afterburn again.
Oh, this guy's gotta chill. Like, they have an Inara. If Inara ults, and he gets, like, rooted by Rhyme and stuff. That's bad. We should definitely fight this. There's split. Somebody's up in top lane. If our entire team comes, we can block. Oh my gosh. Bad damage. Wow, I just got destroyed. Ooh, I started off that fight doing so much damage, but then an aura came and just bursted all of us down. And yeah, the one weakness that I'd say that Glaive has is if you get uh, stunned up and stuff in the middle of team fights like I did, that screws you over so much. Like, I was able to block the Rimal early, which is good, but then I didn't have any more um, blocks or anything. And we didn't have our flicker with us, so we didn't get a crucible and stuff. But yeah, those. That kind of sucks. But <laughs> that Anora has so much gold. I need to finish off my full metal jacket, like literally just for Anora. They're probably getting Black Law. Yep. They just got it. That's alright, though. We should be able to defend fine. As long as we don't, like, die during this push, we'll be good. Oh, the Celeste has got to watch out. The Grumshaw might eat him. Okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to have to burn the Grumshaw off of Celeste, just in case they are getting eaten. Yeah, that was... <laughs> what was that Crucible? That was so late. Okay, we got to go back and get the Shagon. Oh, this Adachio's just chilling and balling. Looks like our Shin is AFK. I'm actually head to bot now. I'm not gonna wait till the dragon's dead because by the time the dragon's dead, this is gonna be recalling. Like, they're about to dip. Yeah. I can stop him. We should be able to kill him. Oh, wait, there's a rhyme here, too. Oh my gosh, my autos do so much damage. Look how much I region off these minions, too. Yeah, again, that's why I went for the breaking point build. Notice how I'm always attacking somebody, even if it's just Adagio. Because you're building up your stacks, which will help you, like, delete the carries, like, Rhyme and stuff like that. Like, literally, when I look at Grumchaw in a team fight now, his damage is pretty much useless. Which is the only thing about Grumchaw, although I love him early game, and he's so strong. And I guess that guy's gonna get the weapon power buff. Once you reach late game, Grumchaw's kind of useless. Like, I look at Grumchaw and I literally see free breaking point stacks. Because whatever he, whatever damage he does to me, I could regen, like, right away. Ah, oh, can we get this guy? Nice. Slow him. Dang. The flicker was too slow. Rip. Yeah, our Shun's AFK. I guess we're gonna attempt to 4v5 this. We can still do it, though. Like, late game Idris is really strong. So am I in these fights right now. Like, in that fight where I died, if I hadn't gotten stunned up again, I could have easily won that. We just need to try to stick together, at least. Because if we go for a 3v5, we're going to lose that for sure. Okay, the Celeste backed off. That's good. You gotta watch out for that Gnarl. If Gnarl ults, especially onto a Celeste, they're dead. I'm gonna set up a slow push in top lane. So pretty much what I did was I killed all the small minions. I just left the big minion with the lot with the big minion with lots of health. That way they'll slowly push. You could do that if you did not know. Just kill the small since the small minions are the ones that do all the damage, the big ones kinda just are there sort of to be tanky. So that'll push up in a sec. Oh, they're really split right now. Rhyme's down at the CP buff. We can go for this if we want. I should be able to finish off. Oh, nice. I think we won this. Nice. Okay, we can get started getting dragons now. Oh, that was really nice. Oh wait, yeah, we can, yeah, we can end. Actually, Celeste is right. 
Oh, never mind. Our team is not that well coordinated. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back onto this. If our entire team went together, we definitely could have been. So let's have the right caller. Yep. I know Idris wasn't coming. Oh, this dude's gonna die to a dragon. Chill, bro. Chill. Please do not die. Okay. We barely lived. That's fine. We could just get Black Claw right now and then try and push with that. Not gonna lie, though. I almost got screwed over by the Warhawk. Like, <laughs> there are so many bright colors. I kind of like... I don't know why I didn't block the Warhawk Bee. That's weird. It's like right on top of his ult, too, so I could like barely see it. <laughs> I kind of lost track of it. Forgot it was there. Okay. If we play this right, this is an Enraged Black Claw because it's after 25 minutes, so... Should be able to get a strong push with it. Our Raider just has to clear a bot wave, though, so that sucks. I just want to get this turret. Okay. Oh, and R just uses ult. Oh, wait, can I get him? Oh my gosh, wait. No, he must have used boots then earlier. Dang, that was so close. Wait, we can kill this Warhawk again. Nice, that should be game. Should be game. But yeah, I kind of like Liv. It was fun. Especially until the right comps if you pick him. He's super strong in fights. No, this build was... Yeah, I think it was the right choice to go for this. So that's gonna be about it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share with your friends, comment down below your favorite movie and what heroes you all want to see next. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.